Hey internet, I uh, bet you didn't expect to see me again. I wasn't even sure that you were going to see me again until this morning when I woke up and I'm like, there's a thing that I've been thinking about for a while now, and I'd like to just like have a conversation about it, I guess. This is uh, traditional Abby sitting down and rambling in front of a camera with no script or anything. It's currently a Sunday and I'm at my place of work, which is why the background looks different. Why is it a Sunday and I'm at work? It's Hashtag small business life, I guess. So I haven't been around you guys a lot lately, and uh, there's actually quite a few more of you thanks to some just super kind and totally wanted shout outs by uh, the people I work with here. Hey, welcome. Thanks for joining. If you're one of my small creator crew, uh, I currently work at Cinema Studios in Missoula, Montana, and I am Every once in a while on Michael Aranda's daily vlog called What I'm Doing Right Now that you can go check out if you want to actually see what my life is like. We're here now on this channel doing this thing. I'm going to be real honest with y'all. Uh, I've been having not a good time of things. There's a lot of different reasons and different stressors, and I don't really feel like going into that. But basically, I've been having just a tough couple months. And one of the things that happens when you are going through a rough time, I feel like, is you realize what you do and do not deal with well. And so in the process of figuring those things out, I've identified like what parts of my personality are good and what are not so good. I think that moving here to Missoula, I've learned a lot of things about myself that like I am capable of doing and like learned things that I'm good at, but in that process, I've also learned things that I'm not good at and need to figure out. I was having a conversation with a good friend of mine a while back, and it became very clear to me that this particular person is very concerned with the concept of identity. So this person likes to have an established set of things that they call their own, like this is how they define themselves. They want to have these certain characteristics, they want to have this certain way of thinking about things and it's like they don't feel necessarily stable unless they have an established identity and one of the things that causes stress for them in life is not feeling like they know what their identity is and in several of the conversations that I've had with this person they have brought up that this thing is a thing that they do or do not do because of the way that they are. And that's a thing that I've used a lot in the past, and I've particularly used it in the past as an excuse for why I can't do a thing or why it is uncomfortable for me to do a thing. But recently I've been in some situations where there have been some things that I've been uncomfortable with doing, but it doesn't matter because I need to do them anyway, or it's such an issue that I'm not doing a thing that I know it needs to be fixed. And so I've been thinking a lot about the concept of identity and personality and how much we should cling to that idea. I've gotten to the place now where I've decided that saying, well, that's just the way that I am, is a cop-out. It's the lazy way of saying, I don't want to put the effort into doing this thing. I don't want to put the effort into changing who I am despite the fact that it is causing some sort of trouble or that it's an obstacle. Because the obstacle is yourself, you're not willing to try to overcome it. I know that that's harsh and I know that it is way more complex than that. Like, trust me. I have so many things in my life right now where I'm like, this is an issue, this is a thing that I need to fix, but it is so tough and I can feel like every day I'm working on becoming better, but it doesn't happen overnight and because it's a bad habit that I've formed or a way that I've learned things that I have to unlearn, it's not easy. But that doesn't mean it's something that I shouldn't try to do. A really long time ago, I did a video on growth mindset and I was talking about it in the context of kids and students. But I think that it applies to everyone where you're looking at your person as a constant growing, changing person and you aren't stuck in this one mindset, you aren't stuck in this one pattern. Your failures help you learn and the things that you struggle with help you learn. And if you are able to take those and improve yourself, then it's not a bad thing to fail and it's not a bad thing to struggle. Ever since learning about that, I've tried to apply that in my life in as many ways as possible. And there is nothing that has made that more clear than the last couple months where I have identified these very clear problems that I have and gone about the process of trying to fix them. I wanna hear what you guys think about this. I wanna know what you guys think about personality and identity. Is it important to you to have something that is super established? Does it stress you out to feel like it can change a lot? Because I can see why people would want this like 
basis, this foundation upon which they live their lives because it would be comforting. Do you think I'm being harsh by saying people use their personality as an excuse? I don't know. I'm just curious about it. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this. Thank you guys for watching this. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for subscribing. I hope this has been interesting and worth that click. Maybe I'll be back again soon. Maybe not. Depends on motivation and all of the things. Can I make myself better at this? We'll see. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you all later. It kind of... Juno. This is my friend Juno. She's hanging out. You can follow her on Instagram at don't Juno anything. Okay, bye for real.